Shalom. In this week's study of Jewish philosophy, we're going to discuss wine. Now, <clears throat> wine uh, can be uh, obviously abused, but also can be uh, used in a permissible and even beneficial way for a Jewish person. And there's a lot of ideas of taboo when it comes to wine. People thinking that, you know, oh, you shouldn't have wine or you shouldn't be drinking too much. Or, But really, that's not the Torah's approach to wine. The Torah takes everything in moderation and takes things in balance and doesn't look at things as taboo and says that you can't have that. Even forbidden things um, have a way of being permissible. For instance, um, non-kosher meat, in the case of, uh, of somebody who's in a life-threatening situation, is allowed to eat non-kosher meat. So there's nothing that we say is completely taboo and never has a place where it's permissible. And wine in the Torah plays a very valuable role. It's used in the altar and, and sacrifices, and it's used when it comes to Kiddush and Havdalah, as we know, at a wedding and a Brit Milah. Anything really that we want to add importance to, we add wine to. And, but wine should not be drunk when, you know, let's say, for instance, the Mishnah talks about in the middle of the day, when its effects can decrease one's productivity and can take one away from where, where they're supposed to be. So, for instance, the Torah forbids one from getting drunk. Wine in the Torah is used on a daily basis when it's not used in a religious ceremony as helping one's digestion and enjoying one's food. There is nothing wrong with enjoying one's food and there's nothing wrong with enjoying a good bottle of wine. It just has to be at the right time and the right place. Shalom.